Hi guys, welcome back and welcome to the inside of my potato van. I am literally living the dream today. It is my birthday and I'm doing a tip run in the rain with the dog. I thought I'd do a kind of a traditional YouTube chapter, you guys kind of vlog style video today because um, I've got a few things to do um, but I'm also nearly at a thousand subscribers so I wanted to share what that was going to mean to me you right. you lie down there mate don't get too comfortable you've got driving mate um what that was going to mean to me kind of where it's all kind of gone from and to uh and the future of what's coming up a few things that penciled in already um and kind of the direction slash journey of um my channel this year so let's fire up the beast and go for a drive <laughs> the so I'll start with a massive thank you to everyone that has subscribed, watched um, all of my stuff. It was my boy's fault. <laughs> He's, he said uh, just after Christmas in 20, so the beginning of 2020, he said, oh, Dad, should we make a YouTube video? And I thought, do you know what? I can sort of film, I can sort of edit. Um, let's go out and film some stuff. He said, oh, you've got some um, car detailing stuff for Christmas. Let's go and make a little corner car washing vlog. So, um, yeah, went and did that, anyway. Hey, um, my neighbor. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, went and did that. And just a, a massive roller coaster of um, the effort it takes into filming and editing. And anyone that watches YouTube, I would say to everyone, go and make one YouTube video and put it up because you will have a newfound respect for the amount of effort and time it takes to go out and film um, ed the amount of time editing that is the bit that takes forever um, and just you feel really stupid pointing a camera at yourself the moment certainly for me I do and the moment I press record my mind goes blank like exactly what I could like I did at the beginning of this video and then when you finally spent all that time and effort making the video you then got it and then you don't want to put it up because you're like well everyone's going to see me and I'm going to look really stupid and everyone's going to take a mix so once you've got over all of that you eventually do put it up send it out to all your friends nobody really watches it <laughs> not even people that you thought were really going to support you nobody really watches it and uh, it just does nothing so you spend all this time and effort making this video and it gets like 20 views and it's just painful um, so yeah that's kind of where it started for me and then I've always like filmed at kind of events and stuff anyway and then I just thought all you've got to do is kind of an intro and an outro at the beginning and end of the video and then suddenly it's a vlog so yeah I was kind of making like a video every kind of couple of weeks just from things that I was doing and going to events and um, and stuff like that um, and then a, like a couple of turning points for me um, a couple of my mates saw my I think it was a track uh, like a track day video my mate Matt with the McLaren said I'll oh, see so you started doing some YouTube stuff do you want to come with me and um, do some stuff in the McLaren which is obviously really cool um, and then another buddy of mine um, Super Gav which uh, regular viewers of the channel will know that <laughs> about one in three videos <laughs> of my videos seem to feature Super Gav because uh, he's just uh, the nicest bloke in the world and so generous um, I did a track day with him so in the middle of lockdown I couldn't afford to go and do a track day that all the straight six guys were doing so he came and picked me up and we went and did a track day in Wales which was just the most fun day and absolutely epic and then because he was in the video quite a lot he said that he really enjoyed the video uh, and he then invited me to a couple of other things including um, Silverstone in his M3 which is obviously awesome um, and probably the biggest thing that I did last year which was absolutely incredible was uh, oh you might want to move over there love <laughs> um, and then uh, the biggest thing I did last year which was um, Petro Tours in Spain just oh, what an experience they just went out to Spain in his Ferrari and he also let me drive it on the trip as well so that was obviously massive so these are all kind of things that have come out of doing YouTube but it hasn't made me any money 
So I've spent a lot of time and effort on um, kind of making videos and I've bought maybe a couple of bits of equipment but I haven't gone mad so it's cost me a little bit of money to um, make some of these videos. Obviously a lot of time um, editing each video, or certainly all the half decent videos that I've done are like a day, day and a half edit, um, but it hasn't made me any money. Which brings me on to where I'm about to turn the corner. So. For those that don't know, when you get to a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours, four thousand watch hours in the last twelve months, so it's a roll in twelve months. That's when you can be monetized from YouTube. So I know um, some people have got to the thousand subscribers, but they haven't got their watch hours up. I've had a few messages from people saying I'm only on two thousand watch hours. How do I get my watch hours up? And the answer is I don't know make more engaging videos I guess I think I don't know some of my videos have done really well some of my videos have not done very well at all but so I got to my watch hours that I needed last September October so for the last kind of three four months I've just been absolutely desperate to get to the thousand subscribers I think currently I'm on about seven thousand watch hours um, so I'm nearly double the watch hours that I need um, but once I get to a thousand subscribers uh, then I'll be able to be monetized by YouTube. I think I'm on about 940 something, so I'm about 50 or so away, which within hopefully the next week or so, I'll get to the thousands. Um, how much am I gonna get from YouTube? I have absolutely no idea. I don't know, 49 pence, 20 quid. I honestly don't know, maybe I'll do, if this video gets a bit of engagement and people don't mind me rambling at a camera, maybe, I'll do another video once I get to a thousand and, and share what I've made on my first month. I, don't, I honestly don't know. Um, but yeah, once I've got there, uh, that's obviously going to be more motivation for me to kind of carry on making videos, making better videos, maybe going and seeking out more things to do for YouTube. Oh, that's a bit I like breathing. I certainly didn't set out so I think I was going to be making any money from YouTube. Anyone that's thinking of starting a YouTube channel with the sole purpose of making money, don't. You've got to want to make films and want to sit down and you've got to enjoy editing, enjoy filmmaking. In my opinion, I'm going a bit of a back way because I'm trying to keep the speed down because I've got a really noisy wheel bearing that he's doing over about 50 miles an hour. It's really, really whiny. Uh, I mentioned a minute ago about videos that have done well, like my uh, skin pan video that I did at Goodwood. That's one video that continually does pretty well every um, month. I get an analytics, you look on your analytics on your YouTube studio and it tells you what um, videos are doing well over the last year or over the last uh, 28 days or 48 hours, I think. And my Goodwood skin pan videos is normally right up there. Um, uh, collecting uh, Super Gav's Ferrari from uh, Scuderia and our reactions of having it straight bike was absolutely amazing. That's always up there. Um, uh, randomly in the last month, my, um, cleaning my uh, k and air filter at home in the sink with products you've got at home. When I, I, put, I thought that would be interesting for people to, um, so they could do it at, at home themselves which is why I made the video, it went straight to about 150 views and then did absolutely nothing. And then in the last month, it's done 2,000 views. So I don't, it, it's one of those like, once, I think once stuff starts to get traction, then it can suddenly take off, which is obviously great. Annoyingly, one of my best performing videos, <laughs> out of all the time and effort I spent making really nice, well-polished videos, in my opinion, they're half decent. Some of you probably disagree. Um, I, my best performing video, it's always first or second every month, is a video that I filmed on my phone in about five minutes when I was fixing the starter motor on my dad's Chrysler Voyager. I edited it in about half an hour. I think it took me, took me longer to find a bit of music to put over the beginning bit. Um, and that is 20 something thousand views. And it's like, good old YouTube. <laughs> No, I have no idea how it works, but never mind. So yeah, where's it all going? Um, more of the same. Uh, I've got a few things penciled in with a few makes of mine already. Uh, a couple of things kind of half penciled in with a few YouTuber makes of mine already. I 
thinking about doing some more Instagram lives again. I don't know if people want to see those. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. It's a good chance to kind of have a, have a catch up with a few people and touch base. But just kind of just roll with it. Try not to take it too seriously. But I'm just, I, I kind of got the bug. I want to keep making videos and keep kind of seeing, seeing where it goes. It's, it's weird because it's some days you're really down because you spent loads of time making a video and it just doesn't do well at all and then other times you do spend some time making a decent video and it gets amazing engagement um, and some really kind um, supportive messages a lot of my catering stuff has, has had some really really good comments on it um, uh, my Petro Tours videos of, of uh, a couple of people said oh, that it, that it kind of saved them during lockdown or um, during uh, quarantine um, from all over the world. So they, they sat there and watched the whole series um, during a, during their quarantine and it kind of kept them sane or whatever, which is amazing. Which is that's, stuff like that keep, keeps you going, that, and that's great to hear. Um, so yeah, that's uh, the end of my rambly chat at you guys sort of video. Um, probably do another one once I get to a thousand subscribers and share um, maybe the process of what you do on YouTube how to get there and um, how much I've made on my first month um, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed please go and subscribe like I say within about a week or so hopefully I'll get to the thousand but um, I mean keep subscribing anyway if you look if you're watching this and I have already got to a thousand don't not subscribe because of that still subscribe anyway um, leave a comment below if you like this sort of video if you think oh good grief what a rambly load of nonsense please don't ever do one of these again then write that I'm, I'm, I'm interested to hear, to hear you, your guys opinions um, I, I'd like to do a few more of these style of videos just because it's a, quite a quick edit instead of being out and about filming all day waiting for the right weather I'm literally doing a tip run in the van and it's pouring with rain on my, on my birthday, living the dream. Um, I'm gonna leave it there. This video is probably too long as it is. Uh, well done if you're still watching. Um, as I've said already, please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Try to get the camera reasonably high so that I'm not looking down to it because it's um, got a bit of Christmas weight on my face, which you can probably tell. Not just from this Christmas either. There's a few Christmases stored up on there. For those that are wondering, the camera adds 10 pounds and there's one camera in there, there's another two in my bag down there, so that's 30 pounds. That's why my face looks like this. I'm not, I'm not actually this fan. Fan drag race. Transit on transit. Poor son. Who's that?